My name is Peter Wagner, and I'm president of Global Harvest Ministries based in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I have served the body of Christ in apostolic ministry for many years, and currently I preside over the International Coalition of Apostles, which brings together over 500 recognized apostles. I have the honor of being assigned to preside over this momentous occasion, and I am humbled as I approach the task with an enormous sense of awe. Holy Spirit, I invite your presence, your power, and your direction. Amen? This is a ceremony celebrating the formal apostolic alignment of Todd Bentley. My first desire is to lay a biblical foundation for what we are about to do. I will begin with a scripture that has been a central text for those of us who are in the stream of contemporary apostolic prophetic movement, which is Ephesians 4, 11 and 12. And he himself, that is Jesus at his ascension, he gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. The word equipping is a translation of the Greek katartizo, which means literally aligning as in setting a broken bone or a chiropractic adjustment. It means putting things in order so that the body functions as it was designed to function. This is one of the responsibilities of, of apostles, such as those whom you see on the platform. And that is the reason we are present tonight. For example, Paul wrote to Titus, for this reason I left you in Crete that you should set in order the things that are lacking. Speaking of Paul and Titus, their relationship is a biblical prototype of apostolic alignment. The same would apply to Paul and Timothy. The apostolic alignment of Timothy and Titus with Paul was a principal factor in allowing God to develop and fulfill his complete destiny in both of their lives. But Paul himself was also apostolically aligned. Soon after he was called to join Barnabas and his colleagues in Antioch for the then controversial ministry of planting churches among Gentiles, he traveled to Jerusalem to bring a gift for famine relief and also to align with some of the apostles. I want to use the experience that Paul had on that occasion as the text for the protocol for tonight's alignment and commissioning of Todd Bentley. It is found in Galatians 2.9, which tells the story of one of Paul's visits to Jerusalem. It says, and when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that had been given to me, they gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Todd is following Paul's example by inviting to the platform three apostolic pillars of today's church. Cheon of Pasadena, California, Bill Johnson of Reading, California, and John Arnott of Toronto, Canada, Todd's native land. They represent an apostolic network called Revival Alliance. Notice that the apostles in Jerusalem perceived the grace that God had given to Paul. The word grace is charis, the root of charisma, meaning spiritual gift or gifts. In Paul's case, it was the gift mix necessary to carry the gospel to Gentiles. In Todd's case, it is the gift mix necessary to lead the Lakeland outpouring. I have a question for the three apostles. Do you perceive the grace of God given to Todd Bentley as an evangelist to lead the Lakeland outpouring? I have a question for Todd Bentley. Do you recognize the apostolic authority of these three men in your life and ministry? And do you desire to establish an apostolic alignment with them and with Revival Alliance? With this affirmation, we will move to a formal commissioning equivalent to 
offering the right hand of fellowship as the three apostles did to Paul in Jerusalem. This commissioning represents a powerful spiritual transaction taking place in the invisible world. With this in mind, I take the apostolic authority that God has given me and I decree to Todd Bentley, your power will increase. Your authority will increase. Your favor will increase. Your influence will increase. Your revelation will increase. I also decree that a new supernatural strength will flow through this ministry. A new life force will penetrate this move of God. Government will be established to set things in their proper order. God will pour out a higher level of discernment to distinguish truth from error. New relationships will surface to open the gates for the future. Cheon, you may now proceed. First of all, on behalf of my wife, Sue, I want to ask all of you for forgiveness for coming so late. We were supposed to be here at 5 o'clock and typical uh, mechanical problems that uh, they were actually going to cancel our flight. But because you were praying and people were praying, they got another plane for us and we were able to arrive just on time for this commissioning service. So we thank God for it. I uh, want to just say how deeply honored I am that John would just come from Africa and make time to be here, Bill. I mean, it's a miracle that Peter Wagner, Bill Johnson, John Arnott, Todd Bentley, and these uh, distinguished apostles would all be able to make it all together at one time, one place. That's it. With our international commitments, that's a miracle in itself. And um, I also feel, Todd, significant that um, two things. One, that this would be on June 23rd. Bob Jones prophesied that you will go to a whole different level June 22nd. Remember that? So here's the day after. And we're and you're going to a whole different level. Isaiah 22, 22. Uh, he's giving you the keys of David. He's opening doors that no man can close. And so it was very, very significant that this is taking place. And it was not because of Bob's prophecy. It was just based on our calendar. But I think it's significant that it would be here on this day, a day after that word was prophesied. I also think it's significant that we have three generations coming together. God's a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And, you know, we're old enough to be your dad. <laughs> and Peter's old enough to be your grandfather. And so, so it's wonderful that we could come together three generations. So I want to proceed recognizing that God has chosen you and appointed you to bear much and lasting fruit in this Lakeland revival and revival around the world, recognizing that he has called you as an Ephesian for evangelist and a revivalist moving in signs and wonders, knowing that you have walked in a manner worthy of the Lord, pleasing Jesus in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the intimacy and knowledge of God, we, as your brothers and your friends, who have a deep love for you, Shauna, your whole family, we just esteem you. We are here to stand with you, to support you, and we are here to commission you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in the power of Jesus' name, with special oil from Chuck Pierce. It's called Revival Oil. Chuck could not make it, but he sent this FedEx special oil for you. He's in Africa. And so we anoint you and commission you in Jesus' name. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Boom. <laughs> Bam. We want to give him a little bit of his own medicine. <laughs> whoa. I'm going to ask John and Bill to share and pray.